Are you tired of using boring screenshots in your videos? If the answer is yes, then in this video I'm going to show you how to create this cool screenshot animation like Internet Anarchist. This channel has around 1 million subscribers and is generating millions of views every month and we're going to cover this specific video. We'll be using Adobe After Effects for animations and all the elements that I'll be using in this video can be found in the description. So without further ado, let's begin. Inside Adobe After Effects, I'm going to create a new composition by clicking here and set width to 90, 20 pixel and height to 1080 pixel. And here in frame rate, I'll set it to 28 frames per second and duration to six seconds and background color can stay black. And then click OK. Now. I'm going to import all my assets here in project panel and I will leave a link in the description if you want to check out this grid image. Now I'm going to drag this grid image on my timeline and here open transform and decrease scale size to let's say 45% and above this grid I'm going to import this screenshot which I'll also decrease scale and here in effects and presets type drop shadow and drag it on this screenshot here and I'm going to increase opacity to 100% and also increase distance to let's say 24 and slightly increase softness to let's say 9 and here select pen tool and change stroke uh, color to let's say red and increase it to 14 pixels and here in fill decrease it to 0%. Now let's draw lines for each and while we are here here in blending mode you can change it to whatever you desire i will for example change it to linear light which is the most similar one to the one in internet anarchist video and then i'm going to go here in shape layer and click on add and trim paths now here in trim paths create our first beginning and keyframe and decrease it to zero percent and for example at one and a half second mark i'm going to create another one and increase it to 100 percent and then select these keyframes and press f9 on the keyboard in order to turn them into easy ease now i'm going to copy this layer here and paste it three more times and here i'm going to create a gap between these layers let's say half second between each of these and then go to transform and position and change a position for example here and we'll do this for both of these layers also like this and finally for this one i'm going to slightly increase uh show size for shape layer number three so it fills out this gap and let's make sure that it is not interfering with the rest here for our shape layer number two we are going to extend it a bit more and align it with the beginning part like this. Now let's draw this line over here also, maybe decrease it a bit more and change again blending mode to linear dodge and again go here and add trim pads. But we're going to animate it at this point here. Let's say so create a end keyframe and decrease to zero and at four and a half second mark i'm going to increase it to 100 percent i'm going to pre-compose all of these layers and rename it to let's say background and then i'm going to create a new adjustment layer by clicking here and in effects and presets type cc vignette and drag it on that adjustment layer and increase angle of view and amount let's say like this and then i'm going to go back to the background composition and pre-compose all of these layers except for black background and let's rename it to tweet so now after you pre-compose this tweet layer open it and on this tweet here i'm going to drag a cc spotlight effect which you can find in effects and presets and here i'm going to change from to minus 810 and here to minus 900 I here change it to 583 by 540 height is set to 30 cone angle to 8.5 intensity to 81 and increase edge softness to 100% and here select light add and this will be the closest look to the one in internet anarchists video 
Now you can close these composition. Now I'm going to go back to uh, zero second mark and here I'm going to select this 3D layer checkbox for our background and we're going to animate scale x y and z rotation values so at uh, two second mark i'm going to create a set of keyframes and let's add a bit of y rotation and also z rotation to let's say minus two and x we can also increase it to six degrees and let's also add a scale like this and now uh, select these keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard in order to turn them into easy ease. And now later we're going to also animate them in the graph editor. So now at a three second mark, I'm going to create another set of keyframes. At this point here, the values don't change. And until the end of our animation, we're going to create another set of keyframes and add a bit of change to Y rotation and Z rotation and also let's decrease X rotation and also let's zoom in even more. Now let's see so far what we have made. Now what I like to do is go in composition and change frame rate to 14 let's say, which will give that sort of a better touch to this animation. But this is completely optional. This isn't present in Internet Anarchist video, but you can add it if you want to. So you can change it here or you can create a new adjustment layer. And here in facts and presets type posturize time and drag it on that adjustment layer and change frame rate to 14. So select them by holding control on your keyboard and selecting them like this and then open graph editor. And here by holding shift, you can select all of these curves here. And then for this angle hand, you can also again hold shift and drag it to the beginning like this. And this will create this sort of curve here. Now we can preview it. And as you can see, it's much more smoother. And now also I'm going to repeat this process for these keyframes here. So we're going to zoom in and by holding shift, I'm going to select all of these curves and then by adjusting this angle hand we're going to move it like this and this will create this smooth animation now as a final touch i'm also going to decrease the amount of cc vignettes so it is not that dark and it is more similar to the one in the internet anarchist video i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you want to support me please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time, bye.